me! Fix me! Fix me! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between and beyond, welcome to Dr. Fix Me Live! The tabloid talk show podcast coming to you live from the Lincoln Lodge. Give it up for the Lincoln Lodge! And for yourselves, you're the heroes tonight. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, by round of applause, who here is seeing Dr. Fix Me for the very first time? All right, all right. Oh, this is great. We've got a good mix of people who have no idea what they're in for. This is awesome. Well, for those of you who don't know, my name is Dr. Elias Fix Me at your service. And uh, this show, for those of you who don't know, is all about helping people. All I'm trying to do is help this world out one person, one issue at a time, which is why I have a doctorate in radio and television broadcasting <laughs> with a specialization in tabloid talk shows. Now, you may wonder, why would anyone study tabloid talk shows? Well, that's because my heroes growing up in the 90s were the likes of Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, Sally Jesse Raphael, Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, Geraldo Rivera, Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, Phil Donahue, Montel Williams, even Oprah. Because they spent their careers helping people. Each new episode of their show, they would transform the lives of someone new. And I thought to myself, well, hey, why can't I do that? So that's why I have this show and my amazing team of producers who uh, bring me people from all over the world. Uh, and you have a unique opportunity, being the live audience here at the Lincoln Lodge, you have a unique opportunity to participate in this show at your discretion. Now, I, I can already tell a sense that there's a, there's a bit of apprehension in the room. And I want you to know that, first of all, first and foremost, this is a safe space for you to express your truth. If someone on this stage says something that's horrible, absolutely offensive, <laughs> that, 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 that you just find awful, feel free to boo. <laughs> feel free to boo them. But conversely, if they say something you agree with, cheer! Chant their name if you feel so compelled. Cheers and jeers, Dr. Fix Me welcomes them all. Give it up for safe spaces. <laughs> yeah, yes. We want to know how you feel because sometimes the people on this stage, they don't understand how they sound. So you'll be a barometer for them. We'll, we'll, the, 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 let us know how, uh, you know, yeah, just give them a, a touch of reality. Or heck, maybe we realize all of you are out of touch. Who knows? Whatever your truth is, I welcome it. Now, I know that this is the Lincoln Lodge and at the Lincoln Lodge, uh, heckling is uh, un it's not, in it's dis discouraged? Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, yes, yes. This is a safe space to boo. This is a safe space to heckle too. I don't know what that means for me, but I welcome it. Uh, so this is a safe space for that. Uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, and if you're, if you're a good enough audience, if you behave, uh, or if you're nasty, who cares, uh, at the end of the show, you will get an opportunity to ask questions of any of our guests or of me, of anything, perhaps something, there's something that Dr. Fix Me has overlooked, maybe something I glossed over and didn't quite do a deep dive enough on. You can ask any question of any member of, uh, of our uh, panel here. So uh, with that said, I want to get the show started. Now, my producers, unfortunately, they don't really prepare me on this show. They don't give me a lot to go on uh, because we run on a bit of a budget. And all they give me is a card uh, with hopefully the guest's name and why they're on the show. But uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, all I've got is the name. So thanks for that, producers. But I want to bring on our first guest. I want to give, let's give a, a warm Lincoln Lodge uh, Doctor Fix Me welcome to Carl Franklin. Welcome, Carl Franklin, to Doctor Fix Me. Well, oh, I'm yeah. just a good Midwestern boy. You're, oh, oh, hi, oh, hi, Carl. Good Minnesota Midwestern boy. Oh, okay. Well, wow, you seem very comfortable on the stage. You're taking up two chairs. Oh yeah, raised right I was. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> By good Catholic parents. I, and I can't help but notice, uh, Carl, that yes. you have a, uh, a Midwestern accent, it sounds like. Oh, well, yeah, and I'm going to keep it up the whole time. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm committed to my character work. Ho -ho. Oh, okay. Ho -ho. The character being your, your personal character that you've been working on? Are you, like, working on improving yourself? Oh, yeah, well, I got a real conundrum for you, Doctor. Oh. oh. Yeah, I noticed that my producers left out why you're on the show. Uh, may I ask what brings you to Doctor Fix Me? Oh, Doctor, it's real bad. Oh, it is. My family, my family doesn't talk to me anymore, Doctor. Oh, they've shunned me out. You've been shunned by your family ever since I went on a little study abroad trip to merry old Ireland. I came back and they've stopped talking to me. Okay, I I couldn't help but notice that your while it did seem Midwest, it also seemed a little bit of uh, maybe Midwest Ireland as well. Oh, maybe so, but they do not they do not speak to me anymore, and it tears me up inside. Doctor, fix me. So okay, it tears me up. I'm well. That's I. I feel for you, yes. uh, Carl. I feel for you that you have been, it seems like you've been, you've been shunned, you've been ostracized from your family, and that cannot be uh, a pleasant experience. It's got to be painful. Yes. Uh, but I'm curious to know about your time abroad in Ireland. What, um, uh, when did you go, and how long were you there? I was studying abroad. It was a quick trip, uh, uh, a couple months, 
studying different things in Mary Ireland. Couple months. So about a, a semester. A film student, yes, studying in oh. Ireland. Oh, you studied film in Ireland. And you know, and you know, I was raised to be a good neighbor, to be nice to my to my neighbors. Okay, sure. And I was going on a walk to, on a darkened street, mm -hmm. and this raggedy old man. Uh, trips over something, he has a package in his hand, and he drops the package, and he says, Arr, boy, Arr, take the package, take the package to that building. And I think, oh, gosh, this guy needs my help. Oh, gosh, so I pick it up, and that was a whatever gift he was delivering. It was heavy, and it was ticking. And it so, was heavy, and it was ticking. Some expensive alarm clock, I assume. Okay. And so I brought it to the building, uh, toot sweet, and then... Post haste? <laughs> post haste, wee wee. Sure. And then... <laughs> sure. And then I, I came back, and he, he, this man grabs me. He says, you got the stuff, kid. Oh, and then he takes me. He takes me, and I think, this I've got a new friend. <laughs> I made a new friend. So you made a friend in Ireland. And he took me to meet his other friends, and they were all really nice and very excited. They asked me a lot of great questions, like, are you a good Catholic? And I love an Easter service. And okay. they asked right. me, do I like independence? And boy, when I got my driver's license at 16, I, I fancy a visit to the movie theater. Independent, you see. Oh, I see. And that, when I said those two things, these boys went buck wild, I tell you. Oh, they went buck wild. And before I knew it, I was going on lots of different trips with them, delivering different ticking packages. Okay. And they loved it so much. And I was having the time of my life helping out my new friends. It's, in your experience, so you, you, you made a group of friends, uh, yes. uh, and, and, they, and they interrogated you. It sounds like, a, maybe, or maybe an interview. I can't tell. They were excited. They were excited. <laughs> and and they, they, it sounds like they recruited you to deliver all these packages to buildings. Do you know like, what was the result of delivering all those packages? All I know is an old man died. He said I got the stuff, and now I'm the leader of these. People. Wait, the old man died? The one the leader, friend you made, he, he passed got, away? You've got good, strong blood in your son. Oh, my goodness. And then now I'm answering a lot of emails, doing a lot of coordinating for these fellas. Can I ask, uh, do you know, how, how did this gentleman die? And did you ever get his yeah. name? He had a heart attack right in front of me. His name was oh. O. Sullivan. O. Sullivan died right in front of you of a heart attack. Yeah, it was bad. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And, and all right. And, and they asked if you're Catholic, and they asked if you uh, appreciate independence, this, this group. Yes. I, I'm... I'm going to ask some questions, okay. and I, I, I'm not going to make any uh, assumptions, or, uh, but I'm, I'm curious to know, did they mention the, the name for their group, this band of, of, of... Well, they kept talking about retirement funds, don't know what that whole thing was, but then okay. I, I come okay. back home and I tell my parents right. my, my, my travail, so I made all these new friends and I've got a great new job with wonderful benefits, okay. and then my parents say they start getting up in arms and they start telling me about the IRA and yeah. this period called the Troubles in Ireland, a series mm -hmm. of terrorist attacks that have to do, and they're talking yeah. real bad about my new best friends, and that got me steamed. So I left, <laughs> and they don't talk to me anymore. Okay. I think you were recruited by a terrorist group. What? What? Yeah, I, th I think you were, you were, uh, you're a sweet boy. I was not raised Car to insult the good people. I, well, I, I can tell you're trying to be a good neighbor, and I think you had the best of intentions, but also, uh, well, there's also a phrase, the path to hell is laid with good intentions, and I think your good intentions led you to be a member of a terrorist group. I, I mean, did you ever put together, like, why those boxes were ticking in the first place? You did you ever see a watch? Did you ever see a ticking clock on the package? I never did see a ticking clock. I did. Okay, I did I'm, I'm gonna let you know, those are bombs. Those are bombs. You delivered okay, bombs. Okay, okay, you, Mr. You, Expert. You, you aid and abetted in the in the in the murder of of, of innocence. Okay, okay. Thank okay. you. Thank okay, I think they're booing you, Doctor. I don't know. Christine. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, think they're, they're booing. I think they're booing, and a few people are pointing oh. in your direction. Oh, I think. So. I okay, th I think I misread hey, the room it's, on this look, one. Look, uh, let's just say honest mistake. All right. I look. Uh, it, it, you 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 didn't know any better. You clearly didn't know any better. You're you're clearly in doubt and maybe a little shocked that I've that I've presented to you. I be, well, believe I'm a harsh truth. I'm I'm pissed because these are my boys. They're my best friends. And you I, still you still keep in contact with them. Well, this is my full a full time plus gig. They've got a lot of details to hammer out. A full time a gig. A lot of different meetings. Okay. A lot of clandestine locations you, need to be found. Okay. So you underground went, tunnels. You went there for film school. There was there, you were there for a couple months. How yes. long ago was this? Yes, okay, so this was, this would have to be, so this is the summer of 2016, so that was... Okay, wow, so it's how been... How many years is that? Seven years. I guess so, math is not my strong suit. Well, all right, that's, that's, it's quite all right, it's quite all right. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so it, seven years ago, you went to Ireland, you're still involved with this group? I've got a few tattoos. Uh, do you do? Um, yeah, some uh, various skulls and crossbones. Oh my goodness! I wow. Can you uh, do you, uh, a lot of tattoos will have like a meaning, or do you, can you explain the meaning behind these tattoos, or like what they symbolize? You know, I, I wasn't big on asking questions at this time, but really, they, you didn't ask any questions as a member of the of, of the IRA. Well, around the time, well, so there was a moment where some uh, one of my uh, Seamus, 
he was he was playing with a knife as he does, and it slipped and it cut my hand, and all of a sudden I was in locked in a handshake with someone, and they said the blood oath has been taken. Oh, and I said these guys know how to party. Okay, <laughs> okay all wow. right. <laughs> All right, I, I don't want to get too far off topic because it seems like the reason you're here is because you've been shunned from your family. Oh, yes. Okay, now, uh, l- what was your last interaction like with your family? Take me back to the family. Wh- at what point... Last interaction... Yeah, yeah, so what, what, what severed it? What? Well, they, I left in a huff. They were mad and I was mad. And I, I uh, moved... I've had a new apartment. I got into a new apartment. And then okay. the last I heard from them was... I opened my door and at and my doorstep was a package not ticking. Okay. From I know you got spooked. I did. From, I got scared. From my brother and I think oh amends an olive branch. I open it up. It's a dead bird. Oh. They're pissed as heck at me, Doctor. Your Christine. family sent you a dead bird. They're pissed. They're Protestants. That's gotta symbolize something. Oh, your family Protestants. They're Protestants. Were you raised Protestant? I was raised Protestant. But you yes. agree with Catholicism? You liked Catholic? I, can, and, I self-converted and you, to Catholicism. Oh, I see. <laughs> They got a lot of great ideas. Really? <laughs> Some people booing uh, self uh, conversion. No, surely they're on my side for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Wow. So, can I ask? I mean, what do, what inspired the conversion? Why not stick with what your family, uh, uh, you know, worships? Well, I really, well, I really like this guy, the Pope. He's got great outfits. Okay. Did you see that picture of him in the big puffy coat, in the big puffy white? Yeah, coat? I heard that that was a that was a fake photo. That was. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 giant, oh, yeah, the I mean, big puffy. Someone's gonna get a package. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Doctor, fix me. You're I, full of bad news today. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to I want to help you out with your family. I feel like that's I can't I don't know how much I, I can help you with with the, your your terrorist connections. Uh, but I want to help you out with your family because mo- so much of, of my job is bridging the 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 gap between two uh people, and I feel like there's a there's a big gap between you and your family, and I want to help you. I'm on your side here, Carl. And uh, now that I understand what your problem is, you've been you've been distanced from your family. What what solution are you looking for? Let's say this episode goes the way that you want. Everything goes perfectly and, and beyond your wildest dreams. How does that go for you? I'm looking for my family to take me back in open arms. I want them to say we accept you for who you are. I want them to say we love you, no matter no matter the blood spilt. <laughs> oh wow! The so you recognize that there was blood spilled. I no- normally I go like this, and I did peek one time, and oh. there was an arm that flew across. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> there was an arm, yes. Ooh. It's hot. It's kind of. I mean, it's one thing you can block your eyes from uh, from uh, horrible violence. Were you able to block your ears from explosions? You had to have heard something. I the I was thinking these boys know again. They know how to throw a party. They were raging for oh, sure. Oh, I see. The you, the I n- I've never been to a rave. So when you heard I explosions, you just thought it was the base. A rave is blood curdling screams, right? Mm, is that what that is? I don't think no. Because those are the raves I've been going to. Oh really? Oh I, yeah. Wow, <laughs> you go to some horribly violent raves. I don't. I th- I don't think you know what a rave is. I. I I don't think I know. Look, either. I think maybe the disconnect between you and your family might be based on the fact that you you're a little out of touch, Carl. And that's all right. I want you to know this is a safe space to be out of touch. That 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 uh, you're not without hope. All right. I want to help you out and connect you to your family. I want to see if my producers have our uh, next available guest because look to to get a better understanding of where you're coming from of what you're going through. I think it's important to get uh, another perspective here. As we all know, there's more than one side to every story. And I want to hopefully uh, bring on someone who can shine a light on your situation, help us understand what's going on here. So without any further ado, I'd like to welcome on our next guest. Looks like I have them ready. Please welcome Father Pa to Doctor Fix Me. Welcome, Father Pa. Hi, Father Pa. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Father Pa. Hi. Oh, hi. hello. Handshake. All right. All right. Hello. F- for listener at home, Father Pa is shaking the hand of everyone in the front row. Wow. Father Pa. Um, I, I could, Father Pa, I couldn't help but notice, as I was saying, you were shaking everyone's hand in the front row. You, sh- you shook everyone. Inaccurate. Everyone oh, yeah. but the women. You, you, you refused to shake. It's improper. It's improper to shake a woman's hand? <laughs> Fa- Father Pa, oh, yeah. am I getting that right? Is it Father Pa? Oh, yeah. And 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 it's it's improper to shake a woman's hand. Oh yeah. How, then how do you how Son. do you? Daddy. Oh oh. Sorry to get so emotional. I I don't think you're. It's all right. I, it's a safe space for emotions. I doubt you're expressing any right now. I, another language. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so Father Pa, I, I I'm curious to know. Mm-hmm. I, I I I can't let this go. Sorry you... for my attire. Uh, I have a hat, flat brim, teal button down. Vest and jacket. It's a formal outfit. I just want to. Oh, in case you, you are dressed very well. You're dressed, you are dressed. You look so very much. proper. Yeah, I dare say too dressed, too well dressed for this occasion. Well, uh, I didn't know if it was a formal. It's this all right. My no, formal death robe. It, it's quite all right. Because I died today. You died today. What do you mean in you died today? In case I died today. Oh, in case. Oh, wow. Are you ready to die? You're, are you prepared to die, Father yeah, Paul? Well, 
Everyone should be, except for my son, apparently. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I, I, got, I, can't, I got to go back to this. Why didn't you shake the women's hand in the front row? Why uh, didn't you do well, it? I got to go back to my original answer. Apparently, you don't listen. It's improper. It's improper. Okay, well, I want to get back to that. Well, what, then what is the... women can be claimed. I, I understand that it's improper, according to you. What is the proper way to, uh, uh, to greet a woman? Well, after the fourth visit with the husband or father or oh. brother, okay. uh, I would learn the name. Okay. <laughs> of said woman. On about the eighth visit, I'd see the woman. Oh. From a certain distance. Okay. 27, 27th visit. Do you remember this? Yes. 27th visit, I would greet the woman with a hello from a distance. Carl, you want to get back to this? It's not I'm the best. Done. I guess I'm uh, done with the explanation. Listen, no uh, one's perfect, Dr. Fix Me. The, my no dad's got perfect. a lot of stuff to work through. Yep. No but he's perfect. my papa. Okay, Father Pa. No one's perfect. We're Amish Protestant. <laughs> Amish Protestant. Yeah. Amish Protestant. Okay. Well, uh, so, uh, t- can you tell me about that? Uh, so, can you, d- can you tell me more about different Amish? Well, f- what, from what I understand, Amish don't uh, appreciate uh, technology or the use of technology. Yeah, it is- offended me when you thought my son would would send a package with a ticking sound. That's the devil sound. Well, Nothing I- should tick. <laughs> So what Unless part of that offended you? actual tick, which oddly enough does not make a sound. What, what, part, <laughs> what part of that offended you? My discussion of it or the fact the that you... The fact you're... that you implied that my son, the good one, Ezekiel, w- would send a package that's not a wait. dead animal. Oh, no, some wait. Some type of mechanism of the devil. Y- did you just call Carl Ezekiel? Did I, did I catch that correctly? Ezekiel is my birth name. Oh, did you, is this you claiming your I- independence? Uh, yes. Akin to being 16 and driving out to the movies? And Yes. I only kept the K from Ezekiel and lengthened it to Carl. <laughs> oh, so it's Ezekiel. It's spelled the exact same way. It's Ezekiel? But pronounced differently. Yes. Ezekiel? Okay. Yes. Ezekiel. Yes. <laughs> wow. You know, I was a young man once. All right. And we had a, 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 a rung spring of sorts. Not that we don't call that as press, and we actually don't tell people what it's called. Oh. <laughs> that prevents me from asking. All right. I mean, you can ask. I'll just we'll say nothing. In that's, China, that's, 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 how do you feel about your son? Can how I do you f- continue? Please, go ahead. <laughs> and I, I had wild times, son. Interacted with women of not that I've known. <laughs> Seen them in outfits not of clothes. Do you mean naked? Can you hold your tongue, please? (laughs) There's women here, and as I established, we don't know if they're claimed. (laughs) It's not the talk for them. You know, you're for a man with a beard and a tie, you're pretty uh, inappropriate. I don't know what that means, and I I doubt that I am. And then, okay, then agreed. (laughs) Point is, my son left the flock. He yes. can live life how, however he wants, right? Power to the people. It, it's just those people will burn in hell and die. Oh. No. Power to the people, but those people are, are heathen sinners. We use the word power as like hellfire. Oh, okay. The, so it's it, interchangeable as a synonym, but so, we also don't prescribe to so that. Power is really a curse. When you, when you wish someone power to them, you're, you're cursing guess, them. Of sorts. I mean, I'm not a witch. To, you hear what I have to deal with, Dr. Fix Me? I, I do. He's cursing me to burn Wait, in hell. Can you not yell? Can you not yell? He's cursing me to burn in hell. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, your father still has a very uh, potent uh, effect on you. I mean, there's Carl? unclaimed females here. You can't just yell. <laughs> I think people uh, are... See, I, that's one of the unclaimed ones. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Father Pa... I want to know, how do you feel currently about your son? And, and, and the, the revelations that we've discussed, I'm sure you heard about his connection with, with the IRA, his, con- his, his commitment, his continued uh, uh, relationship with them. As a good religious male, I did not listen to a lot of what was said. Oh. <laughs> I'll admit. It's a, is that a good... But I, I also interacted with the Irish. Oh, yeah? In what manner? In the past, true story, Native American tribes have donated to the Irish during their Potambo famine. Right, to help them in their time and their struggle because okay. they understood it from what the white people did here. Yeah, the right. Amish donated to the English overloads during. Oh, the oh, because those Irish are godless heathens. Oh, I'm sure she's Irish of some. Excuse me, Miss. Wait, you're addressing a woman? I, well, but you're, this is, you, have, we, you haven't even met her yet. You we'll haven't. See. You haven't met her yet. I haven't met her yet. Is she a woman? I don't know yet. We'll find out. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. 
You know, no, I'll go ahead. I'll Stranger. give a, I'll, I'll give a microphone to our to our, our, Are our guest. Are you Irish in descent? Yes. Oh, see. <laughs> All right. What More you... proof that my nonsense is correct. <laughs> I I don't I don't think so. Uh, look, uh, Carl, you've got your father here. Yes. Uh, let me not get oh, in the him. way. Yes. Oh, okay. Who did you think I was talking I about? I wasn't listening. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Carl, my first guest, you hear, you're here with your father. Yes. I don't want to get in the way. Please mm. tell him how you feel and tell him what you want. Daddy, I feel like you you kept me locked away. Father Pa, this is where you listen. You're going to have to listen. I'm listening. This is how you do it. Really? <laughs> All right. In, in, um, in the Amish culture, you listen by looking away. Really? <laughs> that, that's where God is. <laughs> God is always away from away whoever's speaking. Left. Away is stage left of your person. Sta God is always stage left. Okay. All right. Yes. Go ahead, Carl. Let me not interrupt. You kept me locked away as a child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You didn't let me do uh, make my own choices Standard, and to, to live yeah. as a free person. And you may not agree with my lifestyle now, Papa, but I'm being who I am. Mm. This is my full authentic self, the leader of the Irish Republican Army. <laughs> and you need to accept me for who I am or else this family will never come back together, Papa. I gotta admit, I don't like you getting so formal touching me. <laughs> but you said you were a leader of people? Yes. But army implies violence. Of course it's just to people we don't agree with. It is violence towards the people my group does not agree with, yes. <laughs> it, now, c c excuse it, me. <laughs> now, are these Christians you're fighting? So it's a sectarian Christian conflict. No, uh, <laughs> don't say no more. <laughs> Do you even know what sectarian means? Me or him? I'm, I'm talking yeah. to your father. I'm talking. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> right, so no, I'm talking to your father. Son, hug. Wait, hug? Is that a hug? Your hands barely touch. That's a hug. That's Don't the most you, you contact can't say I've had it out with him. Loud, my... or it's more inappropriate. Wow. What, what did you say? That's Carl? the most contact I've had with him my entire life. Oh my goodness! Since the day he was born, I have not touched him. Wow. <laughs> goodness gracious! I think this is That's a... how you establish love with an infant. You you pull away all human affection. Really? <laughs> we well, leave our children in a field for seven days. Oh my goodness! It's actually where the term cabbage patch kid comes from. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, so you're proud that your son is a Cabbage Patch Kid. Does any of your Cabbage Patch have electronics? Where'd you buy that from? <laughs> oh, I see. Think about your consumers. Wow. <laughs> Where you're buying things. It's important. Carl, uh, this is a, a this is like an uphill battle to get you closer we to don't your father. In health. You know, that, oh my goodness. Please, I need to address your son yes. here. He, Whenever uh, my dad sees a hill, he just goes, No! And then he turns <laughs> around and I would love there. to dress my son. He looks like a heathen. Yeah. What, what do you want of your son? It seems like you have different expectations of each other. What, what is the ideal son for you? Okay, the play ideal that son picture. for me yes. is, is his brother Ezekiel. Wait, wait, his brother Ezekiel? I thought he was Ezekiel. And yeah. He like, yeah. changed his name. Wait. People what? have same names. How many, how many, Father Paul, how many children do you have? Male Take or his, female? Children. How Both many children? Yes, how many children total? Look, unlike you, I'm, I'm going to count the women. I'm counting the women. Counting the women yes, counting the women. It's going to be harder to pinpoint that. Um, I come from a family of seven siblings. Total. 37. 37? <laughs> you I told him about seven. Oh, my goodness. How did that help ground it? It's in groups of okay. seven. Okay. I'm on the next set. Next set of seven? <laughs> okay. Men don't stop. It's fucked up. <laughs> wow, for a, for a religious person, you're you're quite liberal with your with your words. Uh, fucked is the term for having sex with women. Oh, so <laughs> you mean li literally fucked up? Yeah, okay, it's a coincidence. I see. All right, so coincidence is a term for you're an idiot. I don't Protestant. I don't think that's what that means. You don't know enough. All right, you dispute it. <laughs> so you're I, 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 the reason I ask about your children is uh -huh. I, I know that this is Ezekiel and he has mm -hmm. another Ezekiel. How mm -hmm. many of your children, and I'm going to guess the boys, how many of them are named Ezekiel? I'm blessed with 21 Ezekiel. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. All right. Look, look, we're, we're clearly um, at, at, at a point here where I, I, there's, there's a lot of tension and I want to, mm -hmm. I want to, uh, I think Just right eradicate now Eradicate the group. Uh, what? Eradicate the group? No, that sounds like something a member of the IRA would say. You're speaking my language, Papa. I mean, you'd be surprised how similar the Bible with IRA rhetoric rhetoric is in there. Oh, it sounds like you don't entirely disagree with your son's uh, like involvement. Said, I've had affiliations with the Irish. Okay. I just don't fully agree with it anymore. Okay. Alright. Uh, what, what changed your mind? Why don't you agree anymore? Like, what... Financially. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, the Amish don't make as much as we used to. Especially oh, the Protestant. The, the, uh, the, oh, the Protestant 
Protestant Amish used to make money? Those handmade home Those heaters handmade used to heaters. make a killing. Oh, like the okay. Fireplaces. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, we need to take a pause to reflect on what yeah. we said and how we feel about each other. And I think while we oh, do yeah. that, this is a good moment for us to hear a word from our sponsor. Is that alcohol? Uh, like, uh, as we all know, this is showbiz after all. And the business part of this show Are is hearing married? a live read. I'm trying to transition <laughs> to our next guest. Please, Father Pa. Uh, so uh, with that said, I'd like to bring on our sponsor of today's episode. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, local sponsors, global sponsors. Uh, yes. Uh, how does it feel, Papa, to know that there's a woman who's been claimed? How does that feel? How does that make you feel? It feels good that I never have to make eye contact with her the rest of the <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. For the listener at home, uh, 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 Father Pa noticed that uh, uh, one of the ladies in the audience uh, it has an, uh, a wedding ring. At least a in diamond the, ring. Which a is diamond. Not ideal. I mean, it should be a wood circle. A wood circle. <laughs> really? Look, all right. I got to move on. I need to move on to our sponsor. Please uh, give a warm welcome applause to uh, the feathered gull may drop the clam from the sky upon the rock to rend the meat from the cloven shell. <laughs> welcome. 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 <laughs> Oh, sorry, there's a, cord. there's a cord there. Go ahead and step over it. Oh, am I in your way? Go ahead. Sorry. That's all right, Oh, oh. Do I detect Do I detect an accent? Uh, you might. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, my producers have written a lot on this, on this paper. I'm going to reread it one more time. The feathered gull may drop the clam from the sky upon the rock to rend the meat from the cloven shell. What is that? A promise. It's a, it's a promise. That's a promise. Okay. Uh, well, please sponsor by all means to tell the audience and our listeners uh, at home what you, what service or product you have available for us. Say, for instance, you need a clam cracked. If you want someone to come crack your clam, you just call me. And yes, if you don't like that clam, I'll make it hurt. Switch seats with me. I'll make that clam hurt. Switch seats with me. I don't like it. I will be cracking. For Liz at home, Father Pa and Carl are switching seats. Too I've close. I've been cracking clams since I was just a little girl. Oh, Up yeah. and down the coastline. Good choice. And then it became known to my brethren that cracking a clam was something that I could do well. <laughs> something that I could do quietly. <coughs> something that I could do Silently. <laughs> so if you need a clam cracked, I suggest you put a letter in a mailbox and I'll find it. Thank you. Wow. You, so you crack clams. And by the way, I, did I get your name in this card? Did, did, no, and it's uh, best you don't. Oh, I, I'm not, I shouldn't know your name? You can refer to me as the bird. The bird. Well, well the bird. Uh, I, uh, so you said that you, you crack clams. Is that uh, you literally cl crack clams, or is that some sort of metaphor for something else? I'm not going to say I don't enjoy a linguine with a white wine sauce. <laughs> That's something I enjoy very much. But cracking a clam can have very different uh, meanings depending on the context. Do you mean linguine literally, or is this another metaphor? I'm, I'm getting lost. I don't understand what it is you do. Forgive me. Uh, for Lizard Home, uh, Father Pa, are, are, are you okay, Father Pa? Oh, for Lizard Home, Father Pa has left the stage. He's put, putting his chair on the floor with the audience. I'm staying with the, the, the gentleman and the claimed. Okay. <laughs> Look. Yes. I've got a very particular set of skills. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And uh, I wanted to let everyone in the audience know, claimed or unclaimed, just anyone who wants to know that if you need a clam cracked, I will, I will crack that clam, and I will do it well. Okay. I have it on good authority. The bird is the best clam cracker we have in Ireland. Hey, don't talk to her. Wait. Do you know her oh, personally? It's Wait. It's good to see you again, Carl. Oh. Squawk, squawk. Good to see you as well. Good to see you, good Wait. To see you Carl. Carl, you're familiar with the bird? The oh. devil's handshake. What? Father Pa, stay out of this. You wanted to remove I'm yourself. I'm trying to stay out of this. No, you're not. You you're me you're interrupting. Shut up, Father Pa. Shut up. You wanted to be out of this. You're out of this. Congratulations. Can you believe this? His wife. Quit. <laughs> Can you let our sponsor speak without interrupting? Thank you. So, what, uh, please, uh, illuminate. Well, how do you know uh, Carl here? Carl and I, uh, we, we shared a, uh, a club, uh, so a club of sorts, uh, where we would... Uh, both read the same book and a book club. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the chase here. Are you a member of the IRA? Yes, I am. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, that's what I thought. That's Wait, what I thought. Cut to oh, the and chase by the way, here. did you read a book? Hold on. Oh, yes. Is that is that what bothers you? He read a book. That's what bothers you. 
He increased his knowledge through literature, and that, that, that bothers you? Listen, everything you're saying bothers me. Okay. It's parent choice and what their kid learns. And this kid is sitting next to what I assume is an Irish woman. I, I think it's I think that's fair to yeah. You can also I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't looked once. You can call me a bird if you'd like. So the no, I'm not gonna call you a bird because that's God's dinosaur. <laughs> what? And we exclusively buy into that. Okay. So the bird. Uh, yes. I. I'm curious to know, I, like, so you've got, uh, it sounds like you, you, you're familiar with Carl, you're both members of the IRA, oh, but you know what, I forgot, Carl, you, earlier in this episode, you said uh, you, you were uh, a little naive and coy regarding the IRA, uh, but then you absolutely knew what it, what it meant, you knew it was an Irish Republic army? Irish Republican army. Yeah, see, yeah. L- Thirsty How can you know what it means and not know that you were a part of it? Listen, once you get a taste for blood, you can't get it out of Okay, I, that's... And I, I can vouch for that. I don't and think I you're don't as innocent as you see. I can vouch for that, too. I'd like to remind you all that I am the sponsor of this show. This is the uh, sponsor speaking. This is an advertisement. So if you would like your clams cracked, come to me. And I would also like to remind everyone in present that uh, the, the money has come from my organization to put this show on. The, the IRA has sponsored uh, Dr. Fix Me? Dr. Oh my Fix goodness, me. wow, all right, I better be on my best behavior then. Uh, so, uh, uh, Father Power, is everything okay? He's crossing stage left, he's going, are, are, is everything all right? all right? He's leaving the room, he's going into the green room. Oh my gosh, Father Pa, uh, he's, he's shunned you, he's shunned us, he's shunned now the entire you know show. Like. I feel devastated, although quite relieved. Mm. <laughs> You understand the dichotomy, my son. I do, but I have no... Are you interested dis- in joining a certain organization? I am not. No, no. I don't want to be a member of, of any no, club that would bomb me. No, we do not. I don't think we do. Okay. I don't think... First of all, uh, fully agnostic over here. I don't... I don't uh, That's all right. It's a, it's a secular... Secu- secu- Christian. Se- sectarian. Sectarian, sectarian Christian yep, yep. grouping. That's all right. <laughs> so, um... Wow, you now you keep mentioning the the uh, cracking of clams, but you haven't like uh, illuminated or uh, or expanded on what that means, which leads me to believe is that a euphemism? Are you? Are... The Irish are known for many things. Euphemisms being the very top one. Oh, uh, <laughs> Irish are known for euphemisms. Mm-hmm. I did not know that the, that's what the Irish were known for. Oh, so you've heard of Lucky Charms? I yeah, of course I've you've heard, heard of. Heard of a shamrock shake? Yes, I've heard of a shamrock. You've heard of Rolling Green Hills. Ah. All euphemisms. Really? They're Every euphemisms. So of them. Lucky Charms doesn't mean cereal? No, no. What does it mean? Uh, that's, a, that's a series of weaponry. <laughs> oh, really? Look, the Lucky Charms. You never want to be beat with a series of Lucky Charms. Yes. Uh, I, I no. have to take inventory of all of our Lucky Charms in our weapons lockers. Oh, my gosh. Cloves, <laughs> rainbows, and, 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 and was it the balloons, those are all weapons? Those are all various types of we- each Each type of charm is a, yes. its own weapon? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I thought he was just uh, that, that Lucky of Lucky Charms was just listing off uh, types of cereal uh, pieces, but they're, in fact, weapons. Lucky is our... Um don't say mascot. No. No, he's not the mascot. He's the one who began the IRA. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> the the, the o- OG IRA. Hit, that was the nickname of the man who died in front of me. He was Lucky. Lucky. Lucky O'Sullivan yes. died of a heart attack. Yes. I don't think you understand what Lucky means. That was his name is what it I'm saying. It was a name. Oh, it was his name. Okay. Well, sorry. All right. Maybe, maybe that was a, a, a euphemism. Fuck you, Dr. Fixman. Hey, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Carl. See, sorry, see, see Carl. See what fucking cuck this so, guy is? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck you, Dr. Fixman. So, so. Hey, son. I'll kill your ass. Hey, hey. There's women here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> now, now, Father Paul wants to decorum. By the way, welcome back, Father Paul. I'm sorry. So, I realize I don't drive. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. And it's a very strict wagon schedule. Yeah. I, oh, I see. You have to so wait for the next. Actually very limited. You have to wait for the next wagon to arrive. Well, I mean, it's you set a time. There's no communication. It's the oh, okay. At that time. Wow. All right. Oh, I want to get back to our sponsor. So, if anyone wants their uh, clam. Cl- clam cracked, and and, oh. and and I still don't know what that means. She'll uh, kill your ass, is what she's saying. Oh my goodness! It's not obvious enough for you. She'll what? kill your dumb ass. You can read wait, what wait, what to, I wrote on the card to before cr- I took out your producers. Wait, wait, what, took out my producers. Read what's on the card. Do I not have any producers left? Read what's I'm on the card. I'm not seeing anyone in the back of the room. Uh, to and anyone watching who knows what it means, they know what it means. The feathered gull may drop the clam from the sky upon the rock to rend the meat from the cloven shell. Yes. Sounds like witchcraft to me. I feel like I'm getting further and further away from it. All right, fine. It if, anyone wants to cra- if, if anyone it wants is. to your service to crack a clam, it, it'd be, and yes, it sounds okay, like... Okay, I will stop doing euphemisms. Fine. I will turn myself into a seagull or a crow. Those are the two I can do. And I will take the clam or person, and I will take them up high, and I will drop them from up high until their bones are but mush upon the ground. Wow. Oh, my goodness. 
that was such haunting clarity. You can transform. That is not what I thought you meant. You will transform into a bird, and you, you can, and you have such strength as a bird that you can lift people up but into yes. the sky and drop them from a great height. I'm this big. Oh wow! You don't get smaller as a bird. Oh well, I, it's hard for me Why to wrap my head about. Smaller as a bird. Yeah, you uh, fucking do you dumbass. Get your <laughs> right, sorry. I don't sorry. even know why you would let her in here. I well. I don't know why I let you in here, sir. Okay, I don't know well, why you can't. You can You are in no place to judge, sir. You are in no place to judge. That's you're, not you're, true. You are too strict of a father. You are too harsh on your son. And 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 I, I want to get through to our sponsor. So if anyone wants the, your services to to trans be transformed into a bird to to lift uh, an enemy or someone uh, up from a pie uh, from such a height that they would fall and and die. If anyone wants your service, how can they reach you, the bird? Like I said, put a letter in a mailbox. <laughs> I will find you. A letter in a mailbox. You'll find. Any letter in any mailbox? It, I can I can understand the intention with which it is put. Really? Like you, Santa Claus. Oh wow! Okay. She is our Santa Claus. She's the Irish Santa. She's the Irish. She, Santa. Oh wow! Sounds like a lot of people wish for death. And the, the gift they is do. death. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, this is um, fantastic. I mean, I'm I I it's it's a little uh, I'm a little nervous that the IRA is sponsoring this episode. That's alright. We're a here. big fan. You're a big fan. The we IRA are, loves. We are as one a big fan of the show. Oh wow! We're yes. big into self help. I'm honored and uh, 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 terrified at the same time. The IRA is big into self help. That's right. Okay, wow. So I'm I'm glad that you're here. Thank you very much for letting people know how to reach you. I don't suppose you have like a I don't know, like a slogan or an earworm or like type. It's like something like a I would prefer not a single. Oh, I would prefer the authorities never catch wind of that. Oh, so well, just so you know, this is this is going out as a podcast. This is going. Oh, well, you can read the, the thing again. I well, I've read it. I've read it like three read times. The now. Read the thing. All again? right, fine. One read last time. Thing. One last time. In which uh, after I read this, we'll give a, a round of applause to our sponsor. The feathered gull may drop the clam from the sky upon the rock to rend the meat from the cloven shell. Yes. Give it up for the bird. The bird. Thank you very much. I want to. I hesitate to do this, but I need to get back to our first two guests. Carl, yes. we've brought on your father, mm -hmm. and, and he's, he's removed himself from the stage, out of uh, uh, the light, and quite possibly out of frame. We are out recording. Out of the, the devil's light. It's a hellfire light. Uh, it is a bit warm, but I don't know if it's a hellfire light. Carl, how do you feel now that we've brought your father out? Does, well, well, do you see any hope here? Well, first of all, it's an enormous relief to see, to see a colleague here on this stage. That makes mm. me feel very good, the bird. Uh, my dad, uh, I honestly feel there's been no progression at all in our relationship. He literally left the stage. He wandered around the theater, assumably. Did some, said some, I got lost. He okay. said some more fucked up stuff to women, I'm sure, while he was out there. Quite I'm, possibly. I'm, I came across one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, we're further apart than we were. And, and you just had your first hug, which was just a, a mere gla uh, glancing of the palms. He it seemed it, like then he take it the way, Doctor. Oh me. my goodness, <laughs> my goodness. And 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 Father Pa, I I I I hesitate to uh, ask you, but how do you feel about your son at this point? Maybe you should hesitate sometimes before you make decisions. <laughs> All right, moving on. Look, doing. this. The, the, the distance between you and your father has only grown further, and I apologize for that, but I don't want you to lose hope, uh, Carl, because listening this entire time in the wings of this uh, room is someone who can hopefully help you better than I can. I feel ill-equipped here, but hopefully this person has a very specific uh, set of skills, uh, someone who has an expertise in a field that can uh, enable them to offer better advice than what I can. So with that said, I'd like to welcome on our final guest. Please welcome, oh my goodness, I have another paragraph to read. <laughs> Joe Big Dingus Boob, formerly Joe Henson, but was tricked into changing his name. He's an expert on unloved sons being tricked, duped, or preyed on by people ranging from teenage hooligans to extremist groups. He can also do birthday parties. Please welcome to please welcome to the show Joe Big Dingus Boob. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, Joe Big Dingus Boob, to Doctor Fix Me. No, uh, thank you. Uh, I, I, a handshake denied by Father Pa. Father Pa, I believe this this may be a gentleman here. I don't think this is a, an unclaimed woman that you fear so You're much. You're also not supposed to use more than 17 words at a time. <laughs> 17 words at a time? It's the God's number. I don't know. It's the fun. God's number? Yeah. Like God apostrophe S or God S, Read like plural? the one book. Okay, fine. All right. Welcome, expert. Welcome. And did I get that right? Is it Joe Big Dingus Boob? Yeah, you can just call me Boob. Uh, really? That's the one you want me to call you? Of all the four words. I don't like it. Not, not Joe or Big? You but know, it's all right, Father Pa, if you don't like things. Oh, hey. It's all right if you don't like things. I think that's... Yeah, I Never agree with that. Never thought about it that way. Yeah. It's all right if you don't like things. I'm here to fix Father Pa. 
Oh, but please. But, uh, so it's, well, this is excellent. I think we're all on board with this. For listeners at home, everyone wants to see Father Pop Fakes. So Joe Big Dingus Boob, tell us, what is your area of expertise? So I primarily focus on sons who have been unloved by their fathers and so have run away from home and typically engage in friendships that are preying on this lost love that they never received. Uh, I started off when I was a kid. There were these the Hardy Boys, not to be confused with the detectives. Uh, they were oh, from, from the books? No, not to be confused with the detectives. From the books? Yes, yes. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm not. Uh, don't confuse me. Oh, sorry. Um, you see, he's a dumbass, right? You can see. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Why, why are you against me in I this, I saw that Carl? day one, son. No. So close, so close to a hug there. So close to a hug. Go, go ahead. I, I, go I ahead, don't mean boob. to make this about me. Long story short, uh, Mrs. Henderson's cat got used up all her nine lives and it was pinned on me. I just wanted, you know, to be one of the Hardy Boys, but oh. I wasn't. And then in college, you know, they told me I could be part of the frat, but they made me rush for nine years and I ended up never getting a degree. Oh my goodness. Wait, nine years? How long were you in college? And then I was in Jerusalem for a while and then... <laughs> Basically, long story short, Carl, what you have are not tattoos. You've been branded. Oh. Branded by the IRA? Wait, tattoos aren't a red-hot iron being <laughs> seared into your flesh? Anytime anyone puts an apple into your mouth and then tattoos you, that's not a tattoo. I was hogtied and put on a spit as well, I'm realizing now. You look delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. But, Father Pa, I have a couple of questions for you, if that's all right. Please, no, no, no. I, you, of course. This is, this is your time. Take it. Father Pa, why do you keep on putting so much distance between you and your son? Why do you have two titles? What evidence of that do you have? You're literally sitting like three feet away. You could have sat closer, but you chose to sit Dr. away Fix from me. Fix me, please. Father Pa is a, This is what men like him do. Oh. They get you riled up. Don't you want to join the IRA right now? I feel really riled up right now. Not so much that I want to join a terrorist group, but I... But wait, wait, wait. What uh, if they remembered your birthday? What if they remember... Oh... We remember I, birthdays. We give hugs well, willingly. I mean, I remember your birthday, son. When is it? Springtime. <laughs> you were a spring baby. He got the season right. That's, that is true. Oh, okay. Is there well, more than that? Look, I, I, as, as much as I disagree with the use here, this is not going to drive me to, to be a member of a terrorist group, and, and I, I don't know how much I can truly relate to this, because I, I have a pretty decent relationship with my father, so I don't... Then why don't you stop talking and let me do it? <laughs> Fair enough. Go, go ahead. Go Fa ahead, Boo. Father Powell, why do you have two titles? Why, don't, why doesn't anyone know your name? I'm going to let something know to all you heathens, because I'm pretty sure you're all going to die in a hellfire soon. <laughs> Foreshadowing. My name, Pa, is short for my real name. What Powell. is your real name? Powell. <laughs> P-A-U? Mm -hmm. Powell? We're Argentine Protestant Amish. <laughs> Oh, Argentinian Protestant Amish. Correct. Okay. So you emigrated from Argentina? We don't use that word, but yes. You don't use emigrate? You, don't, you, tra you traveled? We have you our own vocabulary for things. Uh, clearly. All right. So, uh, so what, what advice do you have here, Boob? What else oh, advice wait, do you have? Oh, wait, sir. You asked what else I do. I also do birthdays. Uh, yeah, what do you do at birthdays? Like, what kind of, like, how do you help with birthdays? What's a birthday? <laughs> you said you remembered his. You remembered your own son. Springtime. That's and that's okay. why he does the springtime chores. <laughs> Is that a birthday? If, Boob, what do you do for birthdays? Thank you. Um, so uh, during my many travels, I had to keep a lot of people entertained uh, because other, you know, I was the jester in a lot of social groups. Uh, oh. So I can juggle. Um, uh, only like what was that? Something beeped. I don't know what. Maybe it was the TV. Is it the apocalypse? No, no. A beep does not mean the you apocalypse. You gotta tell me if it's the apocalypse. It's not the apocalypse. Sir, what do you, so how do you entertain people at uh, Mostly like parties? chainsaws or I get bit by snakes. Um, Wait, I'll, what? I'll put like a ferret down my pants. Um, uh, you can draw things on my face while I sleep. You Boop. know, stuff like that. I'll do that at your birthday party are, are too. Are these just things that happen to you in your hazing days? Do you haze yourself at parties for other people's entertainment? <laughs> yeah, I do great with kids. Um, <laughs> and then, but then I also primarily fix broken father-son relationships. Oh, well, this is a perfect, this is an ideal situation for you. But, uh, what I, advice I, do you have for the father and son duo here? Well, I have a couple of exercises, if that's all right. Father Pa, are you going to, Pa, can I call you Pa? I'm yes. going to call you Pa, thank you. What's something about Carl that you like specifically? Not any other Ezekiel. Carl. This one in front of you. Oh, Ezekiel. And he's Carl now. Ezekiel 1, right? Is this a, is it your firstborn? 
He's fourth. Okay, you're fourth born. So, it, anyway, how do you feel about him? What's something specifically that you like? Are you first? I don't remember. I, I'm, I was fourth. You're right, Dad. There's so many. <laughs> and I was blessed with so many sons for so long until I fell out of favor. And then had a string of daughters for a while. You think that was it? You think you were punished by having daughters? That was a punishment? Absolutely, I was punished. I had like four daughters in a row. They're all doctors now, useless. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. One so of them cured something like an we, idiot. We need to get back to your son here. What is one specific thing that you like about your son? This one. Who else could I be talking about? I don't know. I'm asking for clarification. I'm at telling this son right here in front of you, the only one we're talking about. What is one thing you like about the him? The one that's sitting next to Quit you. avoiding I'm... the question. One thing I like about him, okay. Um, never had to think about this before. Um, like, like, as an enjoy. Carl, I pity you. Oh, I, pay, I pity I, I, him. That's I, what I like about him. You, that's what you like. You like that you pity your son. Yeah, he's the weakest one. <laughs> and you like that? No, I don't like it. What's something you like? What What do you mean by like? Enjoy anything. Enjoy. Oh boy, I'm I'm. I'm trying so hard, Carl. I'm trying on your behalf, but I'm I'm getting nothing from him. Yeah. I, is there is there any, any? I mean, if we if we can't find something, what happens if we can't find anything that that the father likes about the son? Well, is, typically by this point, you know, Carl is on the FBI list, most wanted right absolutely. now. So uh, <laughs> by this point, we really need to untalent him from the clutches of the IRA. Oh, we think we need to sever that relationship, what? or we just crack the clam. I don't know why we're still letting her talk. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I think our sponsor. Explain that to me. I think our sponsor Even has. besides the woman thing, she's a terrorist. I mean. And a witch. Hold on. I she think said I think our, loud. our sponsor might be onto something. I think our sponsor may have a solution here. You're you're are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? Yes, I have services for sale. That's why I'm here. I have services that are cracking clams, and if you would like this clam cracked, I can do that for you. There is a mighty big stinky clam on this stage, Doctor Fix. I'm sorry, I have to step in. I'm still so confused. <laughs> Carl, and what the service is? The only the one. The service is that I turn into a bird of this size. I take you in my talons. You are now a clam. Um, but more of a metaphorical clam. I fly as high as I can, and I drop you until you are just oh. a puddle of bones and sin you on the ground. She's gonna kill you, you Father Bob. No, She's I'm gonna kill you. We do that too. Some people we survive. turn into birds too. Some people survive. Who turns into birds? Argentine Amish Protestant. <laughs> no, really. Yeah. You turn into birds as well. What kind well, of birds do you turn into? Orioles. <laughs> Orioles. <laughs> oh, okay. Seagulls and crows. Oh, seagulls and coastal crows. Coastal birds. Okay. Crows because of the uh, the pact with Satan, but uh, seagulls because of my Irish heritage. I don't like how familiar we're getting, but I appreciate your. That's all right. History. I can understand. I, I can understand. Uh, Boob, is this a good idea? Do we do we need to kill the father and separate uh, Carl from the IRA? What's what what? I, I, yeah, I look to you, the, you for advice. Yeah, I'm looking to you. The only thing that we can do right now is, Carl, you have to beat up your dad. Beat up your dad? You have to beat him up. Ooh. Whatever that means, you need to crack his clam or whatever. That's right. Oh, okay. what, for listener at home? Oh, oh. Uh, Father Pa is disrobing. He's taking off his shirt. He's rolling his sleeves up. Oh, he's taking off his vest. Thank God he's, he's got 30 And he's ready to box Irish style. Uh, he's got his fisticuffs up. Uh, 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 Carl, hold on, you, hold on, hold on. I don't know if the stage is. I don't know if the stage. This no. is how the Protestants hug. Uh, the, wait, really? Is it? Are you? Are you about to hug Protestant? Hug my son. Paul, can I ask you a question first? Carl, can you unclock? <laughs> Paul, I'm going to fight hug my son right now. Do you love your son? What do you mean by love? Oh, see, I don't. I don't. I don't think this is going to help. Is that a different word than own? <laughs> <laughs> oh Take my goodness! That, you rotten bastard! Father Pod just took a, a, a right hook to the face. Take that! Take Father, that. take this! Oh, whoa! Show me that Please, there is a TV over you. Please be careful. Oh my goodness! Burn up, burn up, and then crack the spoon. Oh no! Oh no! Our sponsor just transformed into a, 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 a seagull. But I think. Uh, oh no! But there is a roof, and it's only 12 feet high. <laughs> oh, she just cracked that clam. Oh, this, my goodness. This is exactly how Jeremiah prophesied it. Your demise? My own demise. Oh, my goodness. L I, what, Carl, 
You just beat up your dad and then put a hit out on him that was immediately executed by our sponsor. How do you feel? I just accomplished every man's dream. I have my guts out I, and you're fucking asking about him. Yes! Yeah. Fucking die, please. <laughs> Some the, survive and there's nothing we can do about it. The Amish never die. I, I, I don't think that's true. I think everyone dies. I'm pretty sure everyone no, dies. No, we don't. How many people subscribe to our religion? None. There's never new. Oh. We just have never died. Oh, my goodness. Why do you think our beers are so long? Do you think you humans can last forever? Oh, my goodness. You'll die, and we'll live. Carl, is, there any, you right is, in the eye, is there any truth to this? The unwed one. <laughs> it, is, it is true the Amish are immortal. Oh. My father can never die. He will... But he was handed a slice of humble pie. Are you okay? Father Pa, you're... you're you, you were disemboweled on the floor, and you seem to be re- not recuper- anymore. Re- Whose religion's wrong now? Oh my goodness! Wow, I, I think I, I, I people fi- thought Jon Snow was out too. My cousin. That's a no. Amish Argentine. Oh, oh, lives okay. in Ohio. Okay, I thought you were making a reference to a fictional character. Never but- seen it. Don't even know what you're talking about. You <laughs> clearly not. Even the word fictitious, I stop people right there. Okay. We don't believe in fictitious things. We believe in a completely Car- accurate Bible. <laughs> Carl, you that beat has up- never been altered other than shut being the fuck accurate. Up, Dad, shut, shut up, shut up, Pa. Car- shut Car- Car- up. Carl, you should beat him up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, beat him up. Can you beat him up? Yeah. Beat him up. Shut the fuck up, Pa. That's right. This Give him the, the Dubliner. <laughs> this is the most testosterone I've ever had in my body. Did you just give him the Dubliner's <laughs> elbow? What? I'm turning into a bird too. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, Dubliner. Double bird! Oh my god! They're double cracking the clam! This is exactly how Isaiah prophesied it. Carl, how do you feel? And now that you've transformed into a bird, I feel like you've metamorphosized into something beautiful. I feel like my dick grew five inches. Oh boy. That's what most, you're. I'm the most masculine I've ever been. I can take over the world now. Oh my goodness. I'm never leaving the IRA. <laughs> where the Irish will take over the whole world. Oh my goodness. We will dominate new world order of the Irish. This has taken a turn for the worse. I feel like you've become some sort of a genocidal Irishman. Ah. And, and, you're, and you're not even Irish. You just spent a, a couple months there seven years ago. But watch now. You see, my hair is turning red. Freckles are appearing all over me. You are, wow. I'm becoming the most jacked Yo-ho, Irish man I've ever seen. Oh, my goodness. I have a Guinness on me. A Guinness? Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Guinness is for everyone. Wow. Uh, 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 Boob, what do you say to this? I mean, uh, Carl has, seems to have overcome, uh, he's taken over his father. He's or overtaken his father. Beat him up. He's oh, killed yeah? him twice. You, shut up, Pa. I don't care how many times you've been right. Shut the fuck up. And we never shut go the away. fuck up, Pa. What buff Boop. Irishman have you seen? By Irish, I mean Amish. I, Boob, what do you I have to say? Pa. I need to get to our expert here. What, 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 what advice do you well, have? Well, I came here or with two you? goals. Yes. Actually, two, three. Three goals. Three goals. Uh, the first one was to let anyone in the audience who has a birthday coming up, let that. <laughs> Maybe if you want to meet me in the back, I've got a lot of, I can do a trial demo. Uh, it should take about four or five hours. And then... Um, a trial demo takes four or five hours? I, the real thing takes about one to two days. Oh, uh, wow. It's, I'm a good... Uh, sure. And then I had two other goals on top of that. One was to make Carl confront his father. And, and he did. And, and so we're good Twice there. now. Good on you. And then the other one was to get him away from the IRA. So kind of like batting 500 there. All right. All right. Two out of three. Not so bad. Or one out of three at least. Okay. I, yeah. I feel like it's good enough to end the show, I think. I, I, <laughs> well, I think we're at a perfect point for us to... Uh, uh, to be it. clear, I didn't join the terrorist group. N- yes. No one's concerned about I, that. I stayed away from it. Yes. Yeah, I want to open the up the floor. I want to open up the floor for questions. Anyone in the audience have any questions uh, about anything that's been going on? Any questions for for, for Father Pa, for for Carl, uh, Franklin, uh, for our sponsor, the Bird, uh, uh, who cracks clams, or for uh, John Big Dingus Boob, aka Boob? Do I see a question in front? What is your name? David. Hi, David. What question do you have for us? I have a question for Boob. Boob, yeah. Uh, really yeah. quick one. Um, would you say that this is typically how your sessions go? There's usually a higher fatality rate, so this is actually. Oh. This is really nice. Yeah, this is a win in Boob's book. <laughs> two, de- two deaths is lo- is su- is below your your quota, or well, he never. I died. technically died twice, but I come back. I mean, you talk during your death. 
He talks a lot. Yeah. That's one thing we've learned. His father Bob talks the a lot. The Amish don't shut up. <laughs> right. uh, any other questions? That's an excellent question, David. Thank you. And yeah, we have a question. What's your name, sir? Uh, Zach. Zach, what question do you have for us? Carl, how old were you when you joined the IRS? Ooh. I, was, I was 15. Wait, 15? I you went to film school at the age 15? Full blown adult. Yeah, I was like a young Paul Thomas Anderson, a real whiz with the camera. Oh. And uh, and then I got I got the taste for blood real real quick. Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah. I had six kids by 15. <laughs> My goodness, wow. So, it, all right. Uh, well, thank you very much for that question, Zach. Any other questions for our our our, our uh, uh, panel here uh, for father son? Any questions about our sponsor? Does anyone else require a hit on this? Anyone want to repent? No. All right. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> This is huh? a safe space for curiosity, but that's quite all right. Are you, you have no more dating? questions. Look, no, no. That's none of your business, Father Paul. That's none of your business. It's not my business. Look. <laughs> are you looking towards God? I saw you looking up in stage left. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I feel like I, got, I can't drill any further because I've clearly struck all the oil I can strike here with, with, with the relationship between no, uh, your, your, your son. You don't believe in oil? I got bad news for you. It exists. Oil exists. For us? For every look, all right. I, I I'm Don't done with I'm done with your time. father. Carl, I was here for you and I'm here for you and I'm I'm proud of you. I, I'm I'm not your father, and nor am I your father figure, but I want to say, even though I've just met you, you I'm can. proud of you. Thank you, Doctor Fix Me. Yeah. Thank you. You're not you're not a cuck and a dumbass at all. Oh, thank you. I you're appreciate that. You're an alpha that. and a genius, and I love you, Doctor. Oh, Fixme. thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think you need uh, this father in your life. I don't think you need to be as close to him as you think, and I also don't think you need to be a member of a group that is so destructive and violent as the IRA. Well, we're gonna agree to, to disagree on that one, Doctor. Okay, all right. Everything I'll, else. I'm I tried. With. I tried. Uh, and of course, uh, I want to thank our expert here, uh, 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 Boob. Uh, you. Do you have any, uh, uh, I guess, if, oh, if anyone wants to utilize your services as, uh, 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 to, uh, for the parties, how can people reach you for, for your birthday party um, self-hazing? Uh, believe it or not, same system as the clam one. Uh, put a letter in any mailbox. I'll know your intention. Uh, You'll understand that they'll write a letter to you and not to the bird? Uh, yeah, Santa yeah. rules. Well, Santa rules. Santa rules. Okay. Santa knows. That's actually how we do it, too, but don't use letters. Use symbols. I'll figure it out. And if that doesn't work, then you can go on Google and look up boob, big time hit, uh, birthday party. Um, okay. And You don't have a website, but if people can search boob, big time hit, my, birthday party. My Everyone right now, good. type boob, <laughs> big time hit, birthday party into your phone right now. Father Paul, are you recommending people use technology? No, Google's your Bible. Mm, no, no, no. past and word. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so, uh, well, of course, this episode wouldn't be possible, wouldn't be complete without our sponsor. Thank Ooh. you very much, the bird much. of the IRA. Thank you very much, everyone. Is there anything you'd like to say as we wrap this up? Any, any, uh, I guess, words of advice or, or. Uh, well, I, you know, I've lived my life in a certain way, and I can uh, understand anyone can come to this point in their lives. But if you'd like to be able to turn into a giant bird, I suggest traveling to Ireland and joining a certain organization. Thank you. Okay, all right. And for, because of your uh, graciousness and and how uh, uh, well you've endured our second guest, I will for you read uh, uh, me? What, what's been read it reading. Again. Thank you, and and do the voice, please. What voice? Mine. <laughs> do the voice, Dr. Fisman, please. I will do my best. The feathered gull may drop the clam from the sky upon the rock to rend the meat from the cloven shell. Now I get Thank it. You. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, for listener at home, Dr. Fix Me is blushing. And uh, I, I, w I would thank Father Pa, but I do want to focus on our first guest. Thank you so much, Clay, or sorry, Carl Franklin. Oh. Oh, you're upset at me for getting your son's name wrong? His name's you... Carl. That's right. His name is Carl. His name is Carl. They should hug. They should hug. Hug, 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 hug. This is good enough. Oh. This is good enough. Oh, my God. And uh, due to that hug and that amazing amount of gratification, I got to say, Carl, and you know what? You too, Father Pa, you both have been fixed. That's our show. That's our show. This has been Dr. Fix Me. Today's episode is performed by Simon Tesmer, Joe Gianni, Margaret Hunsicker, and Atik Raymond. Dr. Fix Me theme song written and performed by Allison Lewis. Enjoy the show? Let us know at drfixmeshow at gmail.com. You can follow Dr. Fix Me on TikTok and Instagram at Dr. Fix Me and on Facebook at Dr. Fix Me Show. 
Watch live episodes of Dr. Fix Me on YouTube. Rate and review Dr. Fix Me on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your audio entertainment. Editing, production, direction, and Dr. Fix Me performed by yours truly, Michael Kim Lewis. Thank you for listening. More proof that my nonsense is correct.